always a rainbow within reach on animal so good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A purple wiggle bug. That's right. Where did you get purple paint? I mixed it myself. Want to see how? Yes, please. Okay, first, start with some red. <laughs> then get a little bit of blue and mix it in. Look, it's turning purple. Yeah, you mixed red and blue and made purple. What are you going to call your color? I'm going to call it Perfect purple. All right. Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, look at my perfect purple. Can we make that the color of the day? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. Presenting purple. Perfect purple.
Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Which balloon is purple? There it is! Purple balloon. Which kite is purple? There it is! Purple kite. Which sock is purple? There it is! Purple sock. Which jewel is purple? There it is! Purple jewel. That's exactly right! It's story time! Yay! Get around, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called The Best Place to Nap. Eli needs a nap, but where should he sleep? Let's read and find out. Let's begin. The Best Place to Nap, written by Simone Patrick. I'm so tired, yawned Eli as he stretched to the skies. I need a nap, he said, rubbing his eyes. Somewhere snugly to curl up in a ball. He looked all around and then began to crawl out into the garden where he found a leaf pile. He nestled down with a happy smile. But just as he closed his sleepy little eyes, around him buzzed a swarm of flies. Go away! Stop buzzing! I'm trying to nap! But no, they didn't stop. They went flap, flap, flap. Sleepy little Eli crawled back inside. In a quiet corner, some books he spied. He climbed on top and rested his head. This is rough and hard, he sleepily said. Books are only meant to be read. They're just not soft enough to make a bed. Shh! Ever so quietly, Eli nuzzled his fur, and Toby the dog didn't even stir. But, ah, uh, ah, uh, Achoo! Toby woke with a jolt. Off darted the furry pillow quick as a bolt. Where, oh, where is the best place to doze? Eli thought and thought as he twiddled his toes. Somewhere dark and warm. Is there such a place? Hmm. Maybe inside Dad's guitar case. The shape was all wrong, the case way too small. Oh, gosh, I really am tired now, Eli started to bawl. Eli was lifted from the floor so high by a warm pair of hands and a lullaby. Three hours later, Eli's eyes opened wide. He had fallen asleep, and he hadn't even tried. He stretched and yawned and he started to clap. I found it! It's true! Grandpa's lap is the best place to nap. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose! Thank you for reading with me. Kids! It's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing a counting song about potatoes. Potatoes? Yes, potatoes. It goes like this. 
One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Are you ready to count potatoes with me? Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Here we go! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Again! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Ooh, that was fun! That was wonderful! Thank you for singing with me! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again! We're about to practice our counting together. Come on! One, two, three, four. Don't stop now, let's count some more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing great. When we see some flowers or butterflies or stars, Look for things to count. Oh, I'm not very good at counting by myself. You're not very good yet. I'll help you. Let's count flowers. One, two, three, four. Four flowers. Now let's count wiggle bugs together. One, two. How many in all? Two? Yeah, you got it! Now you try, Hedgehog. Count the leaves. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So how many leaves are there in all? Five! You did it! Thanks, Monkey! Hey, I have an idea! Let's count all the flowers! Yeah! yeah! That may take a while. See you soon! Hmm, this is tricky. Oh, there it is! And now, it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. The cat and the fiddle The cow jumped over the moon The little dog laughed To see such sport And the dish ran away with the spoon
diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon.